Cool. So, I've just had an amazing lunch of a bowl of vanilla pudding. I've been procrastinating about this video for uh, about two weeks. So, I, 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 I know that there hasn't been a lot of content uploaded to this channel for a very long time. And that is for multiple reasons. Some good and some bad. Some of you guys may know that I stream on Twitch now. So if you want to check that out, uh, links are down below. But uh, that is partly partly a reason why this channel hasn't had as much content. So we're going to do a bit of a top 10 on things that I've learned during my first year of streaming on Twitch. There's actually quite a lot of stuff that you don't realize uh, as a new streamer when you're starting out. And I think it's pretty important to to share so that it helps it helps those that are starting out. Let's jump in to number one. All right, so number one is streaming does not equal views. Streaming for me is not about views and follows, but at the same time, it is awesome to see a community grow from, from scratch. So number one is that when you click that start streaming button it does not equal instant views and it does not equal instant follows you're gonna have to you know put some effort in and uh, the biggest thing that i've found is that you know discoverability on twitch is pretty much garbage they have made some recent changes it now sorts your browse page by recommended for you instead of you know high viewers to low viewers which is a terrible way to sort stuff anyway but it's still you know people are not gonna just magically show up in your stream so what you have to kind of do is diversify your content it can be stuff like twitter instagram facebook youtube like this that is what's gonna you know pull people in so you can start building a community and you can start building those regular viewers. That's honestly how you're gonna start seeing people that are coming back to your channel because they get to know you elsewhere. All right, number two is audio is more important than visuals. I see a lot of people that they just go and buy a webcam and they stick it on their stream and then they're just using like a little crappy headset mic. There are exceptions. I'm not bashing people with headset mics. I'm just saying if your headset mic has a lot of like, you know, there's feedback and there's background noise, it's like difficult to understand you because of the quality of the mic. That's not a good thing. And it's not going to make people want to stay in your chat. People are there to like interact with you. If you don't have the tools to, to communicate well, people are not going to stick around. Number three is kind of a little bit of a hard lesson to learn. You don't need to stream every day for eight hours or even every day for four hours, or even every day for two hours. You need to stream for maybe three or four days a week at like tops. Four days is like, you know, pushing it and stick to a regular schedule on those three days and then stream for like three or four hours for those three days. Because if you are, if you are starting out, you are probably gonna want to be working towards affiliate on Twitch. And if that is the case, you need to meet some averages. If you're streaming every day and your viewer count is quite low, you're gonna be streaming for like a very long time before you reach affiliate because your average viewer count is gonna be really low. And that is on like you can still meet those other requirements with three days a week. Don't go <laughs> don't go full steam ahead initially. Just just stick stick to like three days and get used to streaming. But ultimately guys it's all about the averages. Um so just stick to a few number of days and it will probably work out a whole bunch better all right so number four is you need to be yourself you need to be genuine this is also something that is quite hard initially because a lot of people like myself for instance don't find it easy to you know put yourself out there i I find that extremely difficult. I'm a very quiet person, I'm an introvert. I don't like being loud and, and all that. You can probably tell from, from the videos or if you've hung out with me on Twitch, that I'm not a loud person, but it's, it's important to get your personality out there because people need to connect with something while they're watching your stream. And if you're just putting on like false hype uh, or pretending to be someone that you're not, people pick up on that more than you more than you think. And uh, you know, they're not, they're not gonna stick around because 
then there's no connection. There's no two-way conversation happening, right? So I think that leads me quite nicely into number five, which is people are in your stream for you. It's not so much about the games you play. I've had some of my best streams with games that have no viewers. We play a lot of Project Zomboid uh, on the on the channel and other like smaller indie type games occasionally. And, and honestly, those are the most those are the most fun to stream because you get to meet some really <laughs> interesting people in your chat and it makes everything feel a lot more personal. Obviously you have to kind of balance it because if you're only streaming games that have no viewers then you're not going to grow necessarily but at the same time you don't want to be streaming games that are like that have you know hundreds of thousands of viewers and you just a drop in the ocean. Number six. Gosh, this YouTube thing is actually harder than it looks. It's much harder than it looks. Yeah, number six. Uh, networking and collaboration is pretty crucial for Twitch, especially if you are someone who is a quieter person because it helps you, you know, be naturally hyped, if that makes sense. It's much easier to play games and be excited about stuff when you're around friends than when you're sitting by yourself and it helps, you know, keep the conversation going. And it can be a huge benefit because some viewers, you know, they don't really like interacting in chat. They just want to watch something. If you're not commentating and you're not like, you know, interacting with other people on your stream, it can, uh, it can get a bit, you know, there's going to be like dead zones and stuff. And then those people will probably end up clicking away. So 100% just go and find some other smaller communities that you enjoy watching. I'm part of the ZA Streams community, which is an amazing, amazing bunch of people. I love hanging out with all of you guys, you, you so, you're so awesome, you're so awesome. Yeah, just just go and be genuine and hang out in someone's chat. You know, stuff stuff will happen. You'll make friends. You'll get opportunities to play with other streamers, and it's just it's just a really 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 fun time. So number seven is one that I've only recently realized about Twitch, but it's that when people come into your stream, there is a very high chance that they are the type of person that is like you. Twitch is a gaming platform, first and foremost. Most most people are gonna be the type of person that you will get along with. As I mentioned before, I'm like a mega introvert. I don't do crowds or parties or anything like that. And I guarantee you, most of the people that hang out in my chat are pretty much the same. They feel, they feel the same. And then there's also stuff like, you know, they'll, they they enjoy talking about the same stuff as you. They enjoy the same music. Uh, they watch the same movies and TV series. There's always something to talk about because we're kind of all the same sort of person. So don't don't be afraid to, to interact with people because you feel like an outsider. When you start interacting with them, you will see that they are people that you can be genuine friends with. All right, number eight, I've sort of covered this one already, but uh, you need to be consistent and stick to a schedule. You know, just start slow, as I mentioned before. Choose those three days a week that work for you. Pick a consistent time and make sure you stick to that time. Make sure you're starting at that time. Start time is pretty important because people need to know and they need to get used to when you're streaming so they know they can make time in the day to come and watch you. Another, another point on that is that when you have a schedule, it helps to build a habit and you start to get used to, you know, working around a schedule, being on time, and it just makes things run a little bit smoother. You know when you're going to be live, so you know when you have to pair stuff and it just helps everything just be a little bit smoother. All right, almost, almost there guys. Uh, number nine, test everything before you start streaming. I've had some streams where I didn't do that and I can tell you every time that you don't test something, that is, that, is, that is the point where things break. Sometimes, sometimes it can be pretty funny for your viewers, but most of the time, uh, it just makes you feel pretty crap and pretty unprofessional. So test absolutely everything you can think of before you start streaming. And that again ties into the previous point, where is if you have a schedule, you know when to test stuff and to, you know, when to allow yourself enough time to test stuff, please test things for your own sanity. All right, number 10. Uh, number 10 is not an easy one and there's no real way to sugarcoat it, but streaming takes a bunch of effort. It's not easy. People starting out kind of picture it as being easy, you know, just sitting playing games, but there is a huge difference between sitting and playing a game and sitting and streaming. Um, you, you will have days where you just do not feel like going live. It will happen more than once, but I need to tell you that you need to push through. <laughs> there's, there's no, there's no easy way. 
um, you need to things things that are worth doing take effort if you're starting to stream it is something that is worth doing because you get to meet so many amazingly awesome people like all of you guys who are like currently in my chat are like you guys are mentally amazing and the good news is that when you do feel pretty crap and you start streaming and those amazing people show up in your chat and you and you start having conversation with them it makes you feel so much better it makes you feel so so good so just push through that feeling i know that you will have a good time all right so that's kind of my 10 points that i've jotted down for my top 10 things that i've learned in my first year on twitch i hope that it helped if you want to discuss any of these points you can come and hop in my stream i am live on tuesdays thursdays and sundays at 8 pm but yeah please i'd love to hear your thoughts on on all of these points and i'd love to hear your thoughts on this video because this is kind of the first time i'm doing this so yeah i just i just i just need your feedback ready <laughs> but please hit that follow button and i will see you guys in the next video